Hello guys, welcome to my channel. I am Akram and you are watching Knowledge360. In this video, I will show you how to take backup of whole database as a SQL file or tar file that is tape archive file and restore database from those files in PostgreSQL using PG admin. So guys, let's start from here. I have database DVD rental database. I have already made a video that how to load a sample database DVD rental. So if you missed that, please watch that. So see here I have the database. I want to take this database or the backup of whole database in a file that is SQL file or tar file. So I will show both of the way how to do it. So first uh, I will to, I will do it in as a SQL file. To, so to create a backup in a SQL file, go to the windows and choose your file location. Do right click and create a text file first. So name it like db script and name it like dot sql. Okay, file extension. So to enable file extension, you must enable this check check option file name extension just check it and rename it like this so your final file name should be and should be ending with dot sql so this file will be like dot sql file so i have created a file sql file here is the file type that is sql file so now let's go to this and i will select this database as i i trying i am trying to take backup of this database so doing right click click on then select backup now select here the file name browse here if this is not set to sql set it to sql or, SQL or set it to all files then you go to your location here my location is under d drive that is sql file if you have saved in any other drive you can uh, go from here so i am doing doing it so select it and check it do it create and you want to replace click on yes now one important thing is check, click the uh, check the format here for sql just click on plain and here we have dump options so how you want to take a backup of uh, your data your database if uh, i i don't want to be lost uh, in in the, in in the backup so i uncheck them uncheck that option so like this according to your uh, need you can take so for now i am taking backup of only schema as i don't want to take backup of data so i made only schema and i i'm mm, creating a backup of it so backup job is created started and successfully completed so now in this file that i have created it should have all the uh, all the uh, structure created here so these are all the structure that I have taken back of from this so this is the, the how to take backup in SQL file so another way to back take backup is to take it from a uh, tear file that is uh, tape archive file so again do right click click on backup and select file name so before selecting file name let's create a file just do right click click uh, uh, let's create uh, name it like dbtar.tar so this is file extension click on yes this is tar file uh, created now go here let's once cancel it and again select this here we are not having that option so do it all files and here is the option db tear click on create for replace click on yes and the format check uh, format tear and then do backup so it will do backup in the tear file so backup is created now let's go and see this is the tear file and the it is created i'm extracting this 
so this has been created here restore.sql contains all the structures that uh, previously i have taken in dbscript.sql so this is the same as restore.sql nothing different and now uh, all these things 3062.dat this is the dat file that contains data let me show you one of them so these uh, contain data it is it is always advisable to take backup in any tar file because it won't give you issue while restoring it but uh, in sql file it might uh, give you syntax issue or something like that uh, when you are restoring from a uh, sql script so let's go uh, i have uh, taken backup now i have backup of this database so i will delete uh, drop this database and i will again show you how to restore so i am deleting this the database must have been deleted so for that let's disconnect this ones i've disconnected and i will again reconnect it and now i will try to drop this database so now the database is deleted again i will uh, show you how to restore it so click on databases do right click create, create on database give the name same name you want it to be so this is dvd rental and click on save so here is the database that database has been created now if he if we see here there will be no tables and views and nothing here but i'll show you how to restore it so i'll uh, do right click on the database and select the option restore now the file format is there now i'll select the file format that i have taken backup here all files this is this was the file db tar.tar file so i am selecting it this is this has been selected now restore it it's running and it will be completed soon so this is successfully completed now again refresh it and you will see all the tables and with data it will it, it will be created there see here everything is created so i will show you how to check if there are data are as well or not see here all along with the structure and all the data my database has been restored so in this way you can take a backup in a sql file or in a tar file and also you can restore from there so guys this much for the video if you find the video helpful please like the video and subscribe my channel to get the updates of upcoming videos so thanks for watching video let's meet in the in another video till then take care bye bye